Yo, what up my people? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy the radical Latino um, and I'm bringing you guys something really different um, It's something that you know, I was gonna actually wait to even talk about my podcast, but I, I think it's 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 uh It's it's pretty much uh, fair to do it now. Um, because this is something I've always been saying from the beginning of my podcast, from the beginning of my inception, from the beginning when I started and you guys started hearing my voice. That black and Latin people go through the same exact thing. We go through the same exact thing. And... This get I get proven right every single day. If it's not from Adam Toledo, it's from Mario Gonzalez. This is another victim of a white supremacist race soldier. He died in the same manner that killed George Floyd in the same exact manner. Nothing different, nothing changed, the same exact manner. Coincidence? I think not. This happened in the Bay Area in California, and nobody is pretty much talking about it because whenever Latin people get harmed, whenever Latin people get abused, we do not go out there in big numbers and actually get our issues heard. We don't. And this is the reason why I'm talking about black and Latin unity because black folks get their issues heard. We don't. Uniting will all also get our issues heard. So it's a no brainer. You know what I'm saying? But some of these Hispano teps like the ranchos and all the other people, they're not talking about this. They're too busy talking about spirits and roots and all that. 15, 1600 type stuff. You know what I'm saying? So this is the type of thing that I'm talking about that we get harmed in the same way. No different. Now, let me break down the story for you guys in case you guys haven't heard. Mario was at a park just drinking a beer and the police was called because they saw him just standing around and he was intoxicated. Mind you, all the police reports ha are not saying who called the police on Mario. Nobody is saying, none of the police reports are showing um, why they called the, um, the police report or called the police on Mario besides him being intoxicating at a park. You know what I'm saying? He was minding his own business. He wasn't bothering nobody. He wasn't bothering nobody, but they called the police. And now we know since the past couple of years, there's been a couple of Karens out here calling the police on black and Latin people for no damn reason. I believe this was another white person seeing that we were minding our own business and they wanted to basically flex on us to say, listen, I could get you harmed. Them calling the police on us non-white people is another way for them to flex saying listen i might not have the power to harm you right now but i have the power to call other people who think like me who see the world as me to harm you and this is something we gotta know this is something we gotta be aware of this is something we gotta be aware of so because of that um, the police just, if you guys watch the body cam footage, the, poli the police just started harassing them. What's your name and all that other stuff when you already got them pinned down on the ground. Now they got them pinned down on the ground and he starts losing consciousness, knees and all that. Listen, I'm going to have you, you guys see the, the news article. So check this out. There's a news article. I got something highlighted, but check this out. Family says California man died in the same manner 
as George Floyd. Mind you, he was buying his business. He just drank a beer and he was probably going to go home. This man works. Why are y'all messing with him? You know what I'm saying? But these people don't want to see us just chilling. They don't want to see us just minding our business. They want to show us that we're still dominated. So they're going to call the same people but like slave corrals. You know what I'm saying? To dominate us. So this basically goes down how everything happened. Like, like I, like I told you guys, you know what I'm saying? 911 call appears disoriented and drunk and all the other stuff. None of that could be proven, right? This is something that I highlighted that I wanted to show you guys. Shortly before he stops breathing, one officer asked the other, think we, we can roll him to the side? But the other answers, I don't want to lose what I got, man. I wonder what he said. I don't want to lose what I got. What, 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 what does he mean by that? Lose what? Lose this right here shows that he wanted to harm him. This right here shows that he was out for blood. I don't want to lose what I got. I don't, you know what that was cold word for him? I don't want to lose that I already got him in the brink of death. I don't want to lose this. Why are you telling me to roll him to the side? I want to kill this guy. That's what that tells me. That right there tells me that. That right there tells me that ain't this constitutes it as a hate crime, believe it or not. This is what I believe. It's a hate crime. Mind you, this is what the news said because they looked at the manual and in New York, choke codes are banned, you know, but... Do they really follow it? But in, also in California, it's not banned. So check this out. We looked up the Alameda Police Department's policy manual, and the department still allows the controversial carotid control hold, the same neck restraint that killed George Floyd. The manual says it should only be used to control a person when that person is violent or physically resisting. At no point was he violent or out of control. There was no scuffle. Now, as you guys saw that those, the chokehold is not banned, but my man wasn't resisting arrest whatsoever. They literally, if you guys watch the video, I'm not even going to play it. They literally grabbed them, put them down to the floor, put their knee down. And I don't want to lose what I got, man, because he stopped breathing. I don't want this dude to survive. Nah, I want to kill him right here. The thing is. After ambulance showed up, my man died in the hospital. Mario died in the hospital. That's the messed up part about it. That's the messed up part about it. And what I'm saying is this shows white supremacy. This shows that we are out here being victimized just like black folks and something I've always said. The thing is our murders don't get televised like black folks. And I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad that black folks pain is being televised. I'm not mad at that because they're out here actually having their issues heard. We are not, we are not for the people in the back who don't want to unite with black folks. That's cool. I hope something happens to y'all so y'all can see, oh man, how come my issues ain't being heard? You know what I'm saying? So you could guys could finally wake up. So you guys could finally wake up. But anyway, this is it. Um, I hope you guys like what you heard. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna catch y'all later. Peace. Mm -hmm.